Hello, and welcome to another episode of Eat In with Adam and John. With me being Adam, and John running the camera today. So, um, today we're going to do pecan cocoons, which are an interesting little dessert because they're not super, super sweet. Well, if you ignore the fact that they're completely covered in sugar, they're not super, super sweet. The, uh... First thing you need for pecan cocoons is one cup of butter, or in our case, Smart Balance, which is a lot like butter, except, well, it's not. So we just need to get the Smart Balance, or butter, into the, this is a half cup measuring cup, so I want to fill this twice. Next is four tablespoons of powdered sugar. Doesn't nearly seem like enough sugar, but like I said, in the end, it's gonna be coated in this stuff. And then comes the flour. So we're gonna need two and three fourths cups of flour. However, I'm gonna pretend I'm making something healthy. So I'm gonna only use one cup of regular flour, and then the other cup and three fourths will be whole wheat flour. Some people like to sift their flour in a big sifter to make it nice and light and airy. And other people use like, uh, like we saw the, the Chef Extraordinaire Meg use, which was a uh, whisk to, to mix up the flour. Me, I just, I just try to scoop it on gently. But probably the main thing you do not want to do, you do not want to pack in the uh, flour. So that was one cup of regular flour, um, and now one and three-fourths cup of whole wheat flour. So now I just sort of chop the butter into the flour so that it gets well mixed together because, you know, you don't want a huge clump of butter in whatever you make. So whenever you're mixing in solid butter or shortening whatever, Make sure you want to just sort of chop, mix it with the flour first. All right, so this is pretty well mixed up now. It's um, it's gone from being chunks of butter to actually starting to make a little bit of a dough. So we'll continue in with the recipe. Um, next is four teaspoons of vanilla, handy dandy vanilla. Oh. I almost forgot, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. It's always good to do that before you start the mixing process so there's plenty of time for the oven to heat up. Um, I think this will be fine though. So four teaspoons of vanilla. Uh, after that is one tablespoon of water. Water tablespoon. So we're going to need one cup of finely chopped pecans. I'm starting with pecan halves, so I want to do some chopping. Got a cup, give or take a little, because pecans just taste really good. Always be careful when you're cutting. Always make sure you're cutting away from yourself and into the cutting board. Cutting into yourself is never a good idea. Cutting into other people is even worse because you could end up getting arrested. Well, I'm almost done chopping up all the pecans. I tell you, finally chopping pecans, well, it takes a lot longer than I expected. Now, the next thing you need to do is make sure you've washed your hands, which I have. And after getting the first initial mixing of the stuff together, you're gonna have to reach in and like touch what you're working with. 
So you just sort of mash it down and fold it over until it goes from being a uh, loose mixture to something nice and solid, like a big ball of floury, buttery, pecan-y yumminess. You want it all to be, well, you want it to be kind of like this. I almost want to just take a bite out of it. So then you get your nice cookie sheet and you start making little cocoons. Do you need to spray the cookie sheet? Not with the amount of butter we used. <laughs> so, you can have bigger cocoons if you want, but I figure, you know, the bigger the cocoon, the less of the surface to volume ratio, and you really want your surface of sugar to, to, to be as ideal a ratio as possible with the volume. So do you make your cocoons, have them all nice spread out on your tray. Just pop it in the oven. Set it for 25 minutes. All right, so 25 minutes have passed. Let's see how they turned out. Ooh, it's hot in that oven. Here they are, they look pretty good. Um, they're a little bit solid, which is what you want. And there's a, it's, it's a real light brown. You don't really want them overcooked too much. Now, comes the fun part. While they're still hot, you want to get them all nice and coated in powdered sugar. So you just dip it in there, get them all nice and sugary-licious. Now, some people might say, oh, well, that's a lot of sugar, you know? And they'll be like, they'll just stop there, you know? They'll just be like, well, that's enough. But after going through this process, you let them cool a little bit and do it all over again, because, I mean, it's hard to have too much sugar on your dessert. It really is. Now, I suppose if you wanted to try something different, you could, like, um, melt chocolate and dip them in that. That'd probably be pretty good. Um, all right, well, I'll, I'll let you um, think about what it'll be like to recoat those a second time. And instead, I will just move on and say thank you for watching another episode of Eat In with Adam and John. And I hope we see you again next week.